Hello, in this video I'm going to demonstrate my latest program called CRC Revenge, standing for Psychic Redundancy Check Reverse Engineering. I wrote it in December 2010 to address an occasional but recurring problem. Developers re-implementing a communications protocol or communicating with a legacy device sometimes find they need to produce a correct CRC, but the documentation describing the algorithm is either vague or missing. CRC Revenge provides three major functions. Firstly, it is a CRC calculator. There are plenty of these about, but this one has arbitrary precision, meaning it can handle CRC algorithms of any bit width, and it is bit-oriented, meaning it can accept input messages of any bit length. It's also parameterized according to Ross Williams' Rocksoft model, so you can specify any CRC algorithm compatible with the model, or use one of the 64 preset algorithms each traceable to a standard document or a widely available implementation. The second function of, is the CRC algorithm reverser and reverse calculator, which calculates check digits to be put in front of the message instead of at the end. Skillfully applied, this can be used to recover small amounts of lost data or to edit a message without changing its check digits. There are other tools for this too, tailored to specific CRC protected files, but this is the first application I know of that handles the general case. The third and most important function of CRC Revenge is a reverse engineering tool to recover the parameters of a CRC algorithm from a small number of messages and their CRCs. This is apparently the first compiled application to do so, being a development of a Perl script I wrote five years ago, which to the best of my knowledge was the first program of any type to address reverse engineering of CRC algorithms. The latest version is 1.03, featuring Greg Ewing's much more efficient method of solving the init and x or out values. First I will demonstrate the CRC calculator function. This is much the same material as in the user manual, whose address is on the screen. You can list the preset models. You can select any of the preset models by name. You can also dump any preset model and take it to another generic CRC calculator. You can input a Williams model and calculate with it, or dump it again. You can calculate the CRC of a hex string on the command line. This is the Williams model test string consisting of the ASCII characters 1 to 9. The bytes are in reverse order in the output because it defaults to handling data byte by byte, which is the most useful setting. We can tell it to treat the output as one 32-bit word, so as to reproduce the check value. Or you can calculate the CRC of a file. CRC32 is the algorithm used in zip files and many other places. The reverse CRC function can recover lost data up to the size of the CRC, assuming you know by other means that the message hasn't been corrupted in transmission. The reverse CRC calculation isn't magic. It's a forward CRC calculation with reverse parameters on reverse data. There's more information on this in the user manual.
You can use the reverse parameters with any generic CRC calculator by putting in the bytes of the message backwards. The small v option reverses both the algorithm and the characters for us. In the user manual there's an example of how to edit a message without changing its CRC using the normal and reverse CRC calculation functions. I've prepared a demonstration here of the reverse engineering part of CRC Revenge. It's in a batch file simply because the hex strings are very long. These first examples are from the README, just a contrived set of three messages to show that the parameter recovery can be fully automatic. To save time, CRC Revenge first tries the preset bubbles and quits straight away if one is found. Here it prints the USB algorithm with its parameters. To demonstrate that it's not restricted to the preset models, we can use the capital F switch to force a brute search. As there are only three messages, the strength of the test is quite low and false positives will be returned. To filter the results, we can give the program more messages or known parameters. For instance, we know that it's a reflected algorithm, so we tell it that ref in and ref out are true with dash L. If we know a parameter, sorry, so Sometimes an algorithm has a twin, that is, a different pair of init and x or out values that have the same effect, and the program will find and print both algorithms however many messages are provided. If we know a parameter such as the polynomial, then this will save a great deal of time. CRC Revenge will handle any algorithm that the available time and memory will permit. Without the polynomial hint here, a minimal 32-bit search like this will take over an hour. A more efficient search mission may be possible. The next set of problems come mostly from Lamet Bees's forum where I used to hang out and research algorithms for my catalogue. This one is from a user named CBECSD and turned out on investigation to be 15 bits in size. As there are short and long messages, there is enough information to recover both the init and direct store out parameters. This problem from username mobile store about an application for Samsung mobiles consists of messages all of the same length and so only one parameter can be determined given the other. Either init or x or out can be given as hints, otherwise the program assumes x or out equals zero, as this is the most efficient default setting. In this case it is calculated init to be a repeating byte, which is a more likely value. This message is set from someone named Robert, while also comprising samples of one length. He yields the same algorithm and serves as confirmation. An anonymous Sukunet K user submitted a program problem two years ago that was tantalising but unsolved until I reviewed it armed with my new tool. The forum page illustrates the importance of presenting message CRC pairs to the program the right way. Only the stream of bytes processed by the CRC algorithm should be passed to CRC Revenge, each immediately followed by the check bytes in transmission order. When a header byte is included, then neither this program nor its Perl script predecessors can solve the algorithm. This set by the username Movil System is one of the problems I wrote CRC Revenge for, as the code words are 2 kilobytes in each in size far beyond the timely processing capability of the Perl script. As with all other models found by this program, while it does solve all the input messages, it is by no means authoritative. The polynomial is uncommon, although the highly ordered init values suggest this algorithm is likely to be the right one. This problem set comes from ITUT recommendation I363.5 for ATM adaptation layer 5. As it is a preset, CLC Revenge recognises it straight away, otherwise a brute forced brute search would take over an hour. That's it for this presentation. To download CLC Revenge, go to my website whose address is on the screen. Remember, CLC algorithms have no cryptographic strength, so this is not cracking or code breaking. Thank you for watching.